So what's happened is not a pretty thing for the can. As the temperature cooled, and this was totally enclosed at the top, the steam that was in here all went back to liquid water. And liquid water has a very small volume compared with the gas that it came from. There's actually nothing, there's a vacuum in this can. And then the pressure of the external air, the air that is in our atmosphere, collapsed the can, showing that the volume of the gas that was in here, the steam, was very much larger than the volume of the water which it came from. Now, most materials, most matter, has these three states, solids, liquids, and gases. And if you heat a solid, it becomes a liquid, and if you heat a liquid, it's going eventually to become a gas. There are a few materials that are an exception to this, and one that you're probably familiar with is something which is called dry ice. I've got some in my... speaker here. So this is dry ice. It's actually a material called carbon dioxide. And it has a solid form, but at the pressures which we're in the room at the moment, it doesn't have a liquid form. This is going to go from the solid. The solid will directly go to become a gas. That's a very different sort of behavior to ordinary ice. So if I put some ordinary ice under here, then if we come back and look at both of these piles of materials in, say, 15 minutes' time, what do you think we're going to see? <laughs> 